I wonder what it'll be. Is it moving? Why are we looking at dirt? I found a seed pod and planted it. What kind of seed pod? I don't know, but it's fun waiting to find out. What if it's a terrible dinosaur-eating plant? Franklin, you've been listening to too many of Truman's silly stories. <sighs> this isn't any fun. Tell us one of your silly stories, Truman. Gee, you know, this seed pod in the ground gives me an idea for one. One morning, a dino baby was sent by his mom to get a condor egg for breakfast. He went looking for a condor nest and found one high up in a tree. I can do this! He took the egg back home to his mom, but she said it, that it wasn't fresh enough. Uh, Truman, it came out of a nest. How much fresher could it be? Well, something was wrong with the egg, so she threw it away, and it landed in some mud. The next morning, the egg hatched, and a giant vine popped out of it. It grew all the way up into the clouds. Hold it. Eggs don't grow into vines. Uh, yeah, Truman. Um, this one's kind of weird. Let me try to fix it. The dino baby was out looking for a condor egg for his mom, but he was distracted by a pretty and smart dino baby girl. She told him there weren't any eggs in the area, but there were lots of beans. They were easy to find, and they didn't break if you dropped them. And best of all, there'd be no mother condor to get mad at you. The dino baby guy followed the girl's smart advice and took the bean home and gave it to his mom. But she was very unhappy because she needed an egg for a special recipe called cooked eggs. Mmm, yummers! The mom was so mad she threw the bean out the door. It landed in some mud and it grew into a tall vine all the way up to the clouds. And the next morning, when the dino baby guy went outside, he found the giant beanstalk and thought, Wow, this story makes sense! There, Truman, I fixed your story and now you can have it back. But if it gets too weird, then I'll have to fix it again. All the dino baby guy's friends came to see the giant beanstalk. They thought it would be neat to climb to the top and see what was above the clouds. And it was real pretty up there. And they were happy they came. The end. That's it? I'm afraid to tell any more because La Brea might not like it. I've got Storyteller's Block. La Brea, don't pick on Truman's story so we can finish. Fine. I won't say another word. Tell more, Truman. It's just getting good. Well, okay. While the baby dinosaur played on the cloud, the others were looking around. And they found... A great big cave floating on the cloud. They thought maybe somebody lived there. And they found a goose, and it laid eggs. Golden eggs. Boy, oh, I bet my mom would love to have one of those eggs for her recipe. They tried to think up a way to get one of the eggs, but then they heard... Oh, uh, well, uh, they heard something else. What, what? Any ideas, La Brea? Don't look at me for ideas. Um, they heard footsteps coming at them. Fame, fame, oh fame! I smell a stinky little dino babe. It's not me. The dino babies ran from the giant, but he caught the dino baby girl. Figures, what exactly was the giant going to do to her? Oh, uh, cook her. I'm gonna cook you. Guess again, Truman. Okay, so he wasn't gonna cook her. Uh, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna cook you. Whew, that's good to know. I like to eat my dino babies raw. Oh, I'm glad the other ones got away. But the dino baby girl was only enough for a snack, so the giant went to catch the others. Stop! This story is 
getting too scary. Don't you think so, guys? I, I don't like this story anymore. I, I like them silly, not scary. Okay, I, I quit. I don't want to tell it anymore. Oh, Truman, are you sure? Please tell more. No. Okay, who wants to finish? Me! Me! Oh, you've never told one before. I wanna, I wanna! Let Marshall try. He couldn't tell one any sillier. Goody, goody, this will be fun! Uh, okay, let's see. How do I start? Just talk. All oh, right. The giant was chasing after the dino babies, but I don't like this giant. I, I want another one. I know. He was a giant egg with legs. This doesn't make any sense. Well, I think it's interesting. Go on, Marshall. Okay. The giant egg had a funny name. It was a uh, Humpty. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty was a good egg, and he lived in the cave and sat in a nest full of golden geese. The egg sat on a nest full of geese? Hey, that's backwards. Truman, it's a big egg with legs named Humpty. Does it matter? Anyway, when Humpty saw the dino babies in his cave, he wanted them to be his friends. So he tried to catch them and put them in his nest so he could sit on them. The fi fo fest Why don't you dino babies live in my nest? And he tried to get away, but Humpty Dumpty climbed down the beanstalk after them. But he was too big and heavy, and the bean stuck broke, oh. and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. But none of the dino babies could put Humpty back together again, because he was smashed to pieces. <laughs> the end. Wasn't that a good story? Did I say this story couldn't get any sillier? I stand corrected. All in favor of Truman finishing his story, raise your hands. It stunk. Didn't it? That's okay, Marcy. You've made worse smells. Hit it, Truman. Gee, where was I? Oh, yeah. The new and improved giant who never ate dino babies. Good. Great idea. Nice twist. Neato. Caught all of them but one. Which one got away? Um, the baby one. Goody. Thanks. And he tied them up. I'll be right back, after I get something to punish you with. Uh, Truman, this is getting scary again. <laughs> Don't worry, you like this. Work with me. The giant came back, and the dino babies were scared, or really scared. They didn't know what he was going to do. They all screamed when he pulled out. <laughs> the giant feather to tickle them with. <laughs> This is horrible! Terrible! Then what happened? Uh, well, he decided to really make them suffer, so he went to get another feather to tickle them with both hands. While he was gone, the brave little baby dinosaur came over and he rescued the others. This story gets better and better! But the dino baby guy stopped when he passed the golden eggs. He wanted to take one home to his mom for her recipe. <laughs> but the giant saw them and chased after them. He was going to catch them and tickle them. They'd learned to stay away from his cave. But the giant was too big and heavy for the beanstalk, and he broke it down. Hey, it was my idea. <laughs> yeah, but my giant isn't an egg. He had wings and flew back up to his cave on the cloud, happy that the dino babies couldn't bother him again. And this just goes to show that what goes up must come down. The end. Yay! I take it back, Truman. Your stories are only half as silly as I thought. Uh, thanks. Oh, hey, hey, it's moving! Oh, gee, I hope it isn't a giant beanstalk. That would be bad. Very bad. <gasps> Step back! Hey, look. It's pretty. Yeah, that little flower couldn't hurt a fly. Let's go find some more seed pods. 
Last one to find one is a rotten giant two-legged ant. 